This video is designed to show you how to edit text in the Poker Crystal disassembly code. Editing text is probably the easiest thing you'll do in this game and also the most common thing you'll do depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but it's very simple and let's just get to it. So we'll use the first floor example like we did in the last video. We'll go talk to the poker fan who's your neighbor and we'll see she says, hello, D or player, I'm visiting. Have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. All right. So what I normally do, instead of searching for the name of areas, which you know can be easy, but it can also be difficult, is searching for words that people say in the text that you want to edit. Unique words. So the word visiting. I don't really expect to see visiting a ton in this game. So I'm going to look up visiting. I could also look up daughter. I could also look up adamant. I could also look up assistant, but maybe not because there's a few of Professor Elm's assistants. So let's look up adamant. So perfect. We have either the player's neighbor's house or player's house first floor. We already know it's player's house first floor, but you can see how this would work in other examples. So we'll open this up. And then I already know that this is called neighbor text. So I'll just jump down there. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. So it's easier to see. So we can see right away that she says, hello, I'm visiting. But we can see here there's three different intro options that this neighbor could have. A morning intro option, a day intro option, and a night intro option. This will look at some more code in the same file that will determine what she says based on the variable of the day, which we have morning, day, and night, morn, day, night. I can actually show you that if you want, if, I, if you'd like. So there's that script right there. The neighbor script, which we already know neighbor text. So the neighbor script says it's going to face the player. It's going to open up the text box. It's going to check if it's morning. If true, it's going to run the morning script which will run that neighbor, neighbor morning intro text. Whereas the day script one runs the day, the night script runs the night. So then we can also just look that up too. It'll take us down there. So that's just an easy way to do it. Um, but we're in the daytime, so we're just going to edit this one for the sake of the, the demo. Um, uh, so what we'll do here is we'll edit this text and we'll say, Hello, play G, which is the variable used to placehold the name. As you can see here, it's D, but this is play G. Um, we'll say it's daytime, right? Just something simple. Um, then we also see there's more here. Even though this neighbor just said this, there's more. And that's because that script will call which one of these depending on the variable it correlates to. Whereas down here, this is going to come no matter what after. But this is just a good example to show, hey, some characters may say different things depending on if it's morning, day, or night, how you can edit that. And then to know, hey, sometimes everything they say not, might not be in the same text data set. So um, yeah, we can just edit this a little bit here. And when I make these ROM hacks, I like my characters to either say silly jokes or give you information about the game. So let's just say... You can evolve Pokemon without need without needing to trade in this game. You can use a stone instead. There's an example. So we already talked about the play G variable that uses your, the, that's a placeholder for whichever character, whichever name the character chooses. But we also have this variable and that just is for Pokemon. Um, so when you are coding these lines, remember that this variable when you use it is going to add three extra spaces to your line. And that brings us to our next point, which is also very important. These lines can only handle 18 characters. 
19 with an apostrophe. Apostrophes do not take up space. So let's say we wanted to say you can't evolve Pokemon. This line would actually be as long as this line because this apostrophe doesn't matter. And what I like to do is I like to use this character counter tool because it honestly gets pretty tiring of reading these all the time. So I'll just do something like this. If I'm not sure if it looks really long, this is 15, this will be fine. Um, but just remember that if you do have this um, variable here, it's going to look shorter in the character count, obviously. Another important thing to think about is if you don't have enough words, or sorry, characters on a space, then it might look a little weird. Like 15 right here, I believe it is, is probably fine. 14 might be a little short. You're going to have a lot of white space, and it might look a little weird. Now this is necessary because I needed to keep room for the whatever it is, eight possible characters that the name could be. So that white space is fine, but you want to make sure that these are a little beefier. You don't want them to be super short. And I'll show you how that looks. We won't edit this, but maybe we'll edit it after and we can make it a little longer. So now let's uh, update the file. All right, here we are in the bedroom. Let's head downstairs and talk to the neighbor. Now she should say it's daytime now instead. Hello, it's daytime. And there we go. We have one of our apostrophes, and we can see right there that it is not taking up a space the same amount these do. It just kind of fits in between. So keep that in mind. You can have 18 as a maximum amount, but if you have apostrophes, that can be that can look like a lot more. But just know they don't take up any space. And we'll see. She says, have you heard? Because we didn't edit that. We added the other part. You can evolve Pokemon without needing to trade in this game. You can use a stone instead. Now, that's not too bad, but you can see if we didn't have like the A or the instead or something, those lines would be a little sparse. These are fine. Um, they are a little bit of white space here, but I don't think anyone's going to matter too much. But if it bugs you, just know that 18 is the max you can use. You don't want to go over 18 unless you're using apostrophes. So... Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.